it's Cherie. I am here to show you guys a awesome do-it-yourself um, for your garden, a little decor. Uh, we decided to make this a co collab uh, with the beautiful The Bubblegum Princess here on YouTube and Sincerely Sarai. Um, both of those girls are super sweet and super cute and they're very do-it-yourself crafty people and I just, I, they spoke to my soul. Uh, so we decided to make it a collab because crafts and crafts are better with your girlfriends. So they also came up with some really cute summertime do-yourself crafts. I will link them down below. You guys can go check out their videos and subscribe to them because they are so awesome. Um, and I decided to do a garden decor uh, because I have a big garden and I want to put things in it. So uh, I had to film this in like an hour and a half between rainstorms because it's been nothing but rain for the last three weeks here in Georgia. Um, so sorry if the video is a little choppy, but it's super easy. Um, you don't even really need instructions, but I kept seeing these uh, bird feeders and waterers um, at craft shows and on Etsy and on Pinterest and all this stuff. And these things are like $30 and I'm thinking to myself, self, we can make this for like less than 20 bucks. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do it myself. Uh, so basically um, I will show you guys how to make a bird feeder that you can plant in your garden. Uh, and then also I have been wanting to make these forever these little uh, markers that you can put in your garden to like let you know what you have growing or let other people know what you have growing uh, they're just cute colorful um, plant markers I guess is what I would call them uh, because I like adorable things and I like brightly colored things in my garden they make me happy uh, so if you guys are interested in learning how to do this cheaply stay tuned and you probably need a smock because spray paint is dangerous Okay, so here's all of the things that you're going to need to make something awesome for your garden. I didn't include a picture of a paint pen or a uh, form of adhesive I used an epoxy, but i show you the brand a little bit later in the video. Now it's time for some spray paint. Get it, girl? Um, <laughs> this is me spray painting, and it's really hard to film yourself spray painting, so I felt like this was sort of self-explanatory. You take off the lid and, you know, shake it shake it like a Polaroid picture and then you spray it and then you get colors so it's pretty pretty titillating film right here check out my super cool jean skirt bringing it back people bringing it back now we're gonna spray paint some spoons I also had a really cool like uh, rainbow effect going on over here in my grass and I also later ended up spray painting those posts that are behind here because I decided our compost bin needed to be a little bit more pizzazzy more spoons this one is blue <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun spray painting these utensils I kind of want to make these and just stick them all over my yard crazy patterns Here's my finished product. Uh, everything is all painted. I did let it dry for 24 hours um, up against my wood pile. And I also wanted to spray paint that, but I, I held it in, held it in, repressed it. Uh, but yeah, so that's everything all done. Here's the magical epoxy. Uh, my husband got this at Home Depot. That's what it looks like. And it dries in like 30 seconds. Um, all I did is put it on the bottom of the cup, like a so, and then stuck it on the plate. Um, this stuff dries like super quick so you gotta work fast if you're doing multiple things I had to get my husband to help me and that's why at the end of the video you see there's only two bird feeders because I ran out of epoxy even though there was some in the container because it dried really fast and I couldn't get any more out so this stuff is like no joke serious business but it's also waterproof so uh, if you get it do it with a friend use protection Hi. Okay, so now we're going to do it to the wood. I put way too much on here, so you do not have to do that. I'm showing you that it's dry. Um, you do not have to put as much on there as I did. I was just, I like glue. I like to stick things to things. Um, but once you get it on there, just hold it in place. This took a little bit longer because it was a different, you know, it's wood against glass. Um, but I just kind of held it there for probably about two or three minutes, and then it was good to go. This 
this is my proof that it's dry. See, it's swiveling. Ah. Okay, now it's time to show you our garden because it's sort of a mini garden tool. Um, eggplant is one word, but I couldn't fit it all on a spatula. Good for me. Here's the bird feeder. I also didn't have any bird seed, uh, <laughs> but um, that's what it looks like. And you just stab it in the ground. Uh, they do make posts that are thinner and already like pointed at the bottom. So if you wanted to spend more money, you could get those. But these were like a dollar, so I didn't want to spend the money. <laughs> Here is some delicious squash. Uh, but yeah, so I just used a paint pen and my terrible handwriting and made some awesome little veggie markers. There's my dog. There's my husband. Hi, husband. And here's our chickens. Hi, little barbers. Um, these are our teenager chickens. We're going to have to move them into the big kid coop soon. Here's some blackberries. Mm. Ah, big ones. Here's some blueberries. They're not done yet, but the birds still eat them. Very annoying. Oh, there's Dexter. Little belly rub break. What? Oh. Here's our compost bins that I half spray painted because I ran out of spray paint, uh, but yeah. <laughs> and here's my clothesline because I love it. Don't you want to hang clothes on it? Dry them in the wind? It's delightful. Here's my favorite tree. Mm, internet is interesting. Oh, there's there's our field. Hi, field. Oh, this is a cherry tree that hasn't made cherries yet. This is our little orchard. This is an apple tree, one of four that we planted. Uh, this is a plum tree and our first plum. Hi, plum. He was delicious. So that was my beautiful do-it-yourself bird feeders for your garden and plant markers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Let me know down below if you guys are going to try this. And if you do, please tag me in the pictures. I want to see all of your bird feeders. I want to see all of your plant markers. And get excited because it's summertime. Get that summertime, summertime sadness. Bye!